take your brown ribbons and we're gonna take the smallest one, the two inch one, and we're just gonna place some glue along the top. And then fold it over. Now we're going to take these ones and we're going to just make teardrops. And so basically how you do that is we're gonna line, just take this and bring it up so we've got the wrong side of the ribbon hitting the right side of the ribbon. We're gonna do the same thing with the other two ribbons. So make sure that you're going the same way because you can put this side on top or this side on top just as long as it matches the other ribbons that you do. Now that we've finished our loops, we're going to put together the body. Just take this piece, bring it up like this a little bit, and just place a little bit of hot glue. And then slide in your ribbon and turn it over and just make sure that it's even and as low as you would like it. So now we're going to place this one in the next biggest loop. And so you can put it in and some of the tutorials that you see will have you just gluing the two ends together, but we're gonna make this one come up a little bit. And it will look kind of, look kind of funny, so you kind of have to pull the smaller one through the, t the bigger one. So open up the top one and put your glue on and then carefully place it on. So we want it to be about that far apart. And that's how it will look on the front side. So go ahead and we're gonna do the same thing here. So we're gonna place this in, we're gonna slide it through And then we're going to put a little bit of glue right here and then pull these wings out. So we're going to end up squishing the body like this and that will make the, make it so it won't pop back up. Anyway, that finishes our body. Let's make the head. Let's take your three inch piece of brown ribbon and we're just gonna make another loop. This is for the head. So place your glue on, bring it over, and then we're going to flatten out the back and so to glue that down, we're just gonna place a little bit of glue inside right there. Inside where we've creased it a little bit. And then you just press it down and we've got our head. Take the yellow and the orange and red ribbons and we're going to make the feathers. And so we're going to do the same thing. We're going to make a loop, but this time instead of making it a wide teardrop, we're just going to make them a little bit longer, more slender. So, so do that and then just take your hot glue place it on the ribbon and glue it down. And then go ahead and do this with the rest of your ribbon. So take your head and some extra of your orange ribbon and we're going to make the beak. So because the beak is made up of this 5 8 inch ribbon or the head, we can place this orange one on and pretty much get the beak just by cutting across right there. So you kind of want to see where you want to cut it and then 
take your scissors and cut across and then we'll want to seal that end we just made so I'm just going to put some hot glue along this part of the head and place it on and we are done with the beak you can leave the turkey without a bow but I love adding bows so I'm going to show you how to make one really quick so we may take the ribbon like this and like an awareness ribbon. We're going to fold the top down. Just make sure that the loops are even. Take your needle through the back. And then we're going to wrap it around. And then just tighten your thread around. So just take a couple stitches in the back. And then we're almost done. We just need to cut the ends and seal them. And then take our hot glue gun. We're just going to put a dab of glue. the thread and add a gem. If you have some skinnier ribbon that matches, you could loop that around as well. And that finishes the little bow that we can put on our turkey. Now if you want to make the waddle, you just take some of your extra red ribbon and you can do this with a wood burning tool, but you don't have to, and just cut out Just kind of a crazy shape of a waddle. So now we're going to seal this with our lighter. I want to make sure that the ends won't fray. And that's it. Now let's put together our turkey. So let's start with the head. We're going to place the head onto the body and you can place it anywhere you'd like but you want to avoid this showing right here. So we're going to, we can place the line right here on top of that line right there. So I'm just going to put some hot glue on and then place the head on. Okay, now that we have the head on, we can glue the body down. We're going to place glue on the inside of the body. And then squeeze down. And there we go, we've flattened out the body a little bit. Now we're going to add the waddle. So place it on and see where you would like it to be. And then we're just going to place a little bit of glue. Not much. And then place it down. Next we're going to glue on the eyes. So we're just going to take a little bit of hot glue And there we've got our eyes. Now we're going to place on our feathers. So we're going to start with the top feather and then we're going to go down the sides. So take your turkey, place hot glue on the back of the head, and then take your feather with the inside facing you and place it on. And then now we're going to take our next two and place your hot glue on. 
to one side. And then hot glue on the for the other side. And make sure to turn it around and see that you like it on the front side. Now we're going to do the next colors. And add our other wing. And now last, we'll put on the bow and place hot glue on the back of your bow. So now we're done with this ribbon sculpture and you can just go ahead and add your clip. Or you can also put this on a cute headband now this is a, a curly ostrich puff. So you just take it and glue it behind. So just take your hot glue gun and put a bunch of glue on. You add the curly ostrich puff. And then all that's left is gluing on our clip or the headband. Just place hot glue along your clip. And that finishes our super cute ribbon sculpture.